Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. I welcome all of you all over the world to this morning devotion in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for life. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for this opportunity you are giving unto us to look into your word. Holy Spirit, I pray, speak to us the language we will understand. And grant us, O God, Jehovah, King of glory, the grace to hear and be the doer of your word. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today is Tuesday in the Holy Week. And there is a topic before us this morning to share together, watch and pray. A Bible reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 31 through 46. I read. Then Jesus told them, this very night you will fall away on account of me, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the shape of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, If all fall away on account of you, I never will. Truly, I tell you, Jesus answered, This very night before the roster cruise, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all other disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to be so rueful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little further, he fell with his feet to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but your will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you even keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, my father, if it is not possible for this call to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping, because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the top time, saying, They said to him. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come. The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinner. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Viewer, I welcome you all. Like I earlier said, today is Tuesday in the Holy Week. The period we prepare ourselves in holiness and righteousness to God. And the topic before us says, watch and pray. Watch and pray. To watch and pray, it means to be articulated, to be awake in the Spirit and be alert to the front of the Holy Spirit. What is the Lord telling you to do? To watch and pray, I repeat again, is to be alert in the Spirit, 
to be awake in the spirit and sing the front of the direction of the Holy Spirit what is telling us to do. Pray and watch, and watch and pray, they are two different things. But when we watch in prayer, we articulate it. We are presenting the thing to God as it is, seeking His grace, seeking His help to help us to overcome. Jesus was exceedingly sorrowful in his critical moment in his earthly ministry. He knew why he came to the world. He knew the purpose of coming to the world is to salvage man from the power of sin. And he knew that his time has come. And for him to conclude, he took three of his disciples to the Mount of Olive, called Gethsemane, and prayed. But to the amazement of Jesus, he saw a shock that even the disciples, he took along with him to pray. They were dozing. In three consecutive times, they were dozing. Jesus came, when you look at verse 4, 38, verse 40, verse 3, they, they were, he said of them to be with their master for the purpose of calling them. They were busy sleeping. And Jesus went to the cross by himself alone. Jesus devoted himself to prayer, and the disciples were sleeping three consecutive occasions. We have said that, verse 40, verse 43, and 45, without knowing that the arrest of Jesus is close by. Friends of God, the same story is coming to me and you this morning, are we sleeping when we're supposed to pray? What are we doing? Are we sleeping when we're supposed to pray? They disappointed their master when he needed their must. If the second question heaven is asking me and you this morning, are you a disappointment to God in the praise of prayer? Where you're supposed to be a lot in the spirit, when we're supposed to call upon God in things that are happening within and around us. We we are busy discussing, we are murmuring. Murmuring cannot solve the problem. When we are not praying, we are sleeping. And God wants us to pray. God does not listen to murmurers, but He listens to those who pray. Today, we face different challenges in our individual lives. Where do we run to? We face different challenges in our families. Who do we take that to? Do we pray or we are murmuring or we are sleeping? In your challenges, where do you run to? Do we take that to God in prayer or we just pray anyhow? We just don't pray any hour without focus. But this money, the direction of heaven to us, this money, he said, we should pray. Don't sleep where you're supposed to pray. The temptation is thereby. The enemy is thereby by your side. If you don't pray, something else will happen. Something wrong will happen. The disciples didn't know the time of Jesus' arrest is at hand. Friends, it is difficult for some of our disciples to make such sacrifice even for one hour. Are we playing or we are praying in our individual fellowship? What are we doing today? Is it chaboring the name of prayer? Is it gossiping the name of prayer? No, we're supposed to call upon God. The reason, the purpose of the church is to hear the word of God and pray. It's not for ceremony, but today ceremony have taken 
our churches, ceremony of taking, our fellowship. No person is ready to pay a sacrifice in the place of prayer. Look at the disciples that were with Jesus, a closer friend. They could not even to stay for Jesus for one hour. So what is the minimum required in the place of prayer that we have resolved? Jesus said here, yeah, couldn't you even watch with me for one hour? So any prayer we are praying, we are not praying even in your individual life. In your individual life, you cannot stay with God for one hour. You are playing instead of a uh, praying. Prayer is a sacrifice. And it's very, very difficult. The flesh will not allow us to pray. The devil himself will not allow us to pray. Look at the disciple Jesus took to the mount. If not the devil, if not the flesh, what will make them not to stand with you? Even including Peter. Peter who say, Master, I will die with you. I will follow you. Peter followed them. Also sleeping. This morning, God is calling us not to condemn us. He's calling us to the place of prayer. We need to revive our altars of prayer. We need to revive our altar of prayer. If we fail to pray, the enemy will have his way in our lives, in our churches, in our fellowship, in that organization. Only weapon which we can use to conquer the devil is the weapon of prayer. Is the weapons of prayer. We look at the situation as they are and we bring that to God. When we watch and pray, we are calling upon the attention of God over the issue that God on our own, we cannot do it. God on our own, we cannot overcome the challenge. But we know you are bigger than the challenge. That is the reason we are bringing them to you. That is the reason we are calling up to you. We are devoting our faith. Our faith look unto you in this issue. Until help us. No other person who is qualified to help us. So we should not be like the disciples who disappointed the master. Today heaven, people of God is looking at us. What is your prayer life? Is your prayer life weak? This morning, heaven is telling you, heaven is telling me, we should bring that to God. We should refine, allow the Holy Spirit to reawake us again into the praise of prayer. The church of Jesus is supposed to be a prayer church, not a sleeping church. Pastor, I charge you this money. What is happening in your congregation? Every time there are crises, complain, death, and all kind of things, devices you see. Can you take those things to prayer? You are even tired of the ministry. You are tired of your calling that you are fed up. Please take that to God in prayer. God who call you is faithful. He just wants you to get connected to him. Let talk those issues to God. Don't pack up. Pack enough is telling the devil you have one and the devil is not stronger than God who call you into this ministry but we have a tool to conquer the devil and the tool we have to conquer the devil is the tool of what prayer and praying aright not just praying any kind of prayers you, the, the prayer, they articulated, the prayers, they should be watchful, the prayer, they should have biblical pain, biblical backup. That the reason we need the word of God to back us up when we are praying this kind of a prayer. So people of God, heaven is challenging me and you this morning to find a key. Oh, the altar of our prayer life. I don't know how your altar of prayer life is all about. Jesus received a angelic 
visitation in the place of prayer. You know, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 44, we tell us better the kind of prayer Jesus prayed. He was alone on the mount. He had all night. The Bible says, in the days of his anguish, or when he was on planet Earth, Jesus cried unto the Father. He cried unto him for her. And the kind of sweat that was coming from him, it it was just like the drop of blood. Just look at that. He was in agony. He was so all articulated. And what is the prayer? If this cup, if it's possible, take it away from me. I want to tell you the flesh where Jesus looked at all that is going to face in the cross of Calvary. He wanted to decamp. And that is the reason he prayed, Father, take this call from me. But I thank God for the second time of his prayer. But if it is only when I drink this cup, this cup, it, when I drink it, it is that we fulfill the purpose of my coming. Thy will be done. He surrender to God. In prayer, we don't negotiate. We surrender our will to God. Sometimes we want to rubber stamp God. You cannot rubber stamp God in the place of prayer. And that's the reason our prayer must be biblical based. They must have a backup of the scripture. So when we pray, we pray with understanding. We pray with the direction of God. We pray as God is leading us in the power of the Holy Spirit. Angelic visitation. If we are to pray and have angelic visitation, it should not be the jamboree we do today in church. Today, prayer is put to the background of our church. We can have a time of music, one hour to dance away. We can make an announcement for one hour in church. But when we talk about prayer, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, how can you conquer the enemy with the prayer of 10 minutes in church? No wonder people are sleeping when the word of God is going on. No wonder occult men and women, witches and wizards, sinners, are comfortable in our assembly because there is no fire from the altar. If there is fire from the altar, they will find their way to go out. But today they are comfortable to oppress the church, to scatter the church, to do all kind of devices in the church of God. Sinners are not afraid again to come to church. Brethren, we need to pray. When we look at scriptures, we look at people that had angelic visitation in the place of prayer. Daniel is one of them. We look at the book of Daniel chapter 10 and we read maybe from verse 1 but verse 12 precisely. The Bible says Daniel in his prayer, he was seeking God from chapter 9. But God revealed himself until age Gabriel came and gave him the interpretation in chapter 12, in chapter 10, verse 12. The Bible says when Daniel was praying right from the first day, the prayer heaven had his prayer. But there was the priest of Persia who hijacked the prayers of Daniel. The priests of Persia, they are everywhere in our locality. They are everywhere in our churches. They are everywhere in our villages. That is the reason we need the weapon until there was an intervention from God. There was an intervention from God. And God had to send Angel Michael to release Angel Gabriel to come and give Daniel the answer of his prayer. If Angel Gabriel can be arrested by the priest of Persia, in Nigeria we have our, our priest. Your own might not be the priest, but in that location, there is a priest that is controlling it. That is the reason there are all kinds of crises in the environment. In that place your church is, there is a priest that controls that environment. That is the reason the church is not growing. That is the reason there are all kinds of crises. You need to deal with the priest of Persia. You need to deal with that priest of Persia. It's not that kind of prayer, or one minute, or two minutes, of a lost prayer. 
prayer. It is a prayer we must have to call upon the name of God. You can be alone as a pastor. You can call the prayer team and begin to deal with such situations. And you say, the heaven will begin to open for us. You begin to see the blessing of God begin to come. The light of God begin to come upon the church. You know, the priests of Persia, the demons are very, very stubborn. And that the reason, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, tells us that the Bible says, We fight not against principalities and power, but against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. There are four principal demons the devil used to pray. The principality, they are the lesson of the devil, they plan within what should happen in that environment, what should happen in that location. The powers, demons of power, they want to supervise everything that happens within around that nothing means within the agenda. Praise powers, rulers of darkness, they control government places, they control institution, they control police. That the reason you see politicians sometimes they will have a good detection. This is what to do. This is what I will do when I enter. But when they enter there, they change their mind because there is a force stronger than it. That they, we need to pray for. Especially we that is in Nigeria, we know what is happening within around the political set. There are demons we need to deal with. Oh, spiritual wickedness in the high places. Yes, those are the executioner. Witches and wizards, that is where they belong. Or cut is the land where they belong. All these demons, their own is to execute the plans that are taking place in the kingdom of darkness. So people of God, we need to deal with them. We need to pray. We need to seek the force of God. We need to look at our environment. What is happening? You take the spiritual man and you begin to pray accordingly. I pray God will give us understanding. I pray God will pour up Upon us the oil of prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can see also in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, the Bible that John us there that the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of the stronghold. They are strong, we need to pull down. If we must have peace, if we must have breakthrough, there are strongholds we need to put down in that environment, in that assembly. I pray God will pour upon the church the spirit of prayer and the spirit of supplication in thy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, we can also experience divine visitation, as I say, of the angels. When we meet business with God, we are in the Holy Week. This is the season of let us see how many of us really have devoted us to call upon God. We are in the, the let us see. And you are busy eating breakfast, you are taking your lunch, you are taking your dinner. Ah, it took Jesus 40 days and 49 to conquer. And some people will say, you know, why should I pray? Jesus has prayed for me. Jesus have, no, Jesus prayed for his ministry. Jesus fasted for you. You need to fast. If you must go back, don't wonder. The enemy do all kind of things in our territory. And we take it, it's normal. They are not Roman people of God. They are projection from the pit of hell. They are projection arrow from the pit of hell. You need to deal with that. It is not by physical battle, but it is what it is spiritual. It is spiritual. Oh, sometimes we want to boast. Hey, people, some people say, no, no, no. There is no mighty man of God. All of us, we are living by grace. You know, Peter boasted to God. He, he boasted to Jesus. I will die, but the same Peter. It was a person, so your flesh can disappoint you at any time. And that the reason, people of God, we must keep focus. We must keep focus on our flesh to examine 
Where are you today? The things you are doing today. Before, look at your prayer life. What is your prayer life today? You are giving an excuse. Your flesh is overtaking you. You are sleeping already. You need to wake up this morning. The heaven wants us to wake up this morning to call upon the name of the Lord. And God will call upon. He will never disappoint us. We need to pay that sacrifice in the praise of prayer by washing and in praying. If you are not praying, you are playing. And those who play cannot make impact in the spiritual battle. So, people of God, I join us even this morning as we look again at this matter. Wash and pray. Wash and pray. Look at your environment, what is happening. What is it that is happening in your life? What is it that is happening in your family? What is this that is happening in your ministry? Oh, God wants us to take that to him in prayer. If we make serious within our business, I call upon him, he will hear us. He never disappointed those who call upon him. And as we call upon him, in wash, in seriousness, in calling upon him, heaven will give us grace. Come on, we make us to be overcomer. Thank you very much for listening, and God bless us together in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God, I pray this morning, release upon your church the spirit of prayer. Release the fire of prayer upon your church as we wash and pray and table the situation of the nation and the church and even individual life to you. Heaven we answer up by fire in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.